Hello, and um, yeah, it's been a month since I uploaded a video, so might as well make one now. And uh, today I'm going to show you a new version, um, because I've gotten a bit better in the past few months, on how to make a NASCAR track in Roblox. Um, yeah, I'm going to show you how to make some new things, how to make tracks better. So yeah, let's just uh, skip the yip yap and let's get right into it. Starting off, we have the Archimedes. Now, Archimedes basically helps you in, in, you know, rotating stuff. This this basically takes off, like, half of the shit. It makes stuff way smoother. Your corners will be way better. And, yeah, you could just make curves like that in seconds. This is definitely a tool you need to make racetracks, because, uh, or else it'll take, like, 30 years. So, yeah, that is, that's something you really need. Next up is F3X. Now, F3X, um... Um, it has some features that I like better that Roblox Studio doesn't. So, like, the resizing tool, if you click two parts, it just, it, you know, makes them bigger like that. But with uh, F3X, it just, um, extends it, which is, um, very good because uh, you'll need that for, um, when you want to make banking transitions and all that, which I'll show you in a sec. But, yeah. I'm gonna make a normal oval just a nice normal oval kind of like new hampshire you want to make it at least four wide max like four and a half cars wide mostly because um we you don't want it really to be chaotic so i'm just gonna use some bull ring cars that i got in my toolbox as size reference because these are a bit big and um yeah this is very useful because um this will make your tracks not tight as hell this is not a street circuit so yeah uh, once you scale it um, that is your racing surface and uh, in my opinion uh, just because uh, explorers an ass you should probably call it racing surface uh, just to not get confused with all the other parts because if you mess something up you, you have to yeah it's just a very bad it's a very time-consuming process so um, I'd rather just label everything um, there's a two ways you could do it. I'm gonna do it my way, which is I like better, which is uh, making a piece of the track. So, basically, you make the wall and all that. You can add safer barriers if you want. Uh, it's not that hard. Remember to label this something else. All right, so there's our little racetrack. Um, here's a little piece. Now I did put much effort into this, but it, it, let me tell you, if you put enough detail in it, it'll, it'll look beautiful. So here is the little track piece. Um, so that is one track piece. Next up, you basically oh I forgot to anchor it. Next up, you duplicate it. And um, if you don't really have to do this, but if you want banking. Just add a wedge. And if you want like 14 degrees of banking, there is a way to measure that. Um, and that is by just grabbing another piece, putting it on the track surface. Remember to have align drag objects on so it, you know, aligns with the track. Go to properties. And then go to, uh, where is it? I think it's this. Yes, it is. So go to orientation and then go to Z and this this little surface right here is not even a degree. That that's wild. So um I'm gonna make this at least like five degrees. Two degrees is enough, I don't care. <laughs> um so next up Um you just kinda like boink and bump and there you have it. So next up, you kind of just piece the things together. So we'll start off by first grabbing this guy, go into Archimedes, put it to zero, and then just render. And you can put it as long as you want, and it's just pieces upon pieces. Uh, make sure there's no gaps in here, because that might cause an issue. Uh, so this is good. If there's any gaps, and you're like very far into the progress already, in my opinion, um, either want to, you can restart or just place a block over it. Anyways, 
uh, you just make it as long as you want and then with this piece three degrees put it to there you go put it to that you can make it however wide you want if you want a sharp corner you can make that shit 10 but it's gonna be very blocky so um you have to basically change the length of this so by the looks of it this looks not half bad and in the render all right here 71 uh that's how to make a circle so to make a half circle so like you know it goes evenly you have to divide that and since i'm stupid with math i'm gonna go to google chrome and see how much 71 times 2 is it's not even telling me wow it really just wants me to work my ass just tell me man 35 all right so 35 and render coin uh it has one sticking out so i guess you could just put one more extra if you want to next up uh in my opinion i just select the entire thing duplicate and rotate that thing and then you align it so that is perfect all right now it's time to get into the fun stuff because there is banking on the track so there's two ways you can either just do the old-fashioned way uh grab archimedes here uh make it so like it goes up and down and just like you know boom and then it goes down and then you can just like use f3x or roblox studio just to scale it down but i don't personally like it I mean, it go it works good. It depends on the banking, though. If you want some cool, smooth banking, though, I have a way for you. So, uh, I personally just put it to 0 0.5 studs for this. Go all the way down on the first one. Then go a bit half a stud higher. And then continue that process until you basically can't do it no more. So, just keep doing that. Keep doing that. And boom. All right. So after that, we select all of them by the by using Control Alt, and then use F3X to scale it all the way. And with that, you have some smooth banking that curves into the corner. My in my opinion, I personally like this a lot. The only problem with it is that um wall transitions will be a pain for you, but if you don't really care about it that much. You could just leave it a bit higher in the lower parts of the banking. Or you can just uh, try to align it with the track by rotating it. Like, let me show you actually. You could just rotate it. Uh, this, the, I personally prefer if you're barely starting making tracks. I personally prefer the first one where you just uh, get the first part and length it down. Because uh, this is uh, quite hard to do. And I've been making Roblox tracks for quite a bit now. So I, I guess I know what I'm doing. But yeah, you could just scale it. And it'll kind of try to align it with the track. Um, yeah, but you definitely need other... For, for this type of transition, you definitely need other plugins. I personally use Gap Fill to fill these small little gaps. Gap Fill is such a good um, plugin. But yeah, uh, I'm just going to use the old way just to make it keep it simple here. So next up, it's time to make the uh, pit lane. And yeah, so this is uh, going to be simple process. You could just get one of the front straight walls, uh, just duplicate it, scale it up a little bit and just um, go all the way. If you want a curved one, you can use F3X. To just curve it around kind of like New Hampshire exit this is really what I'm trying to so yeah you could just curve it around like this it just yeah that's so horrible but you know what we'll, we'll, we'll work with it all right guys next up it's time for the infield walls uh, I'm gonna just do the same process as I did um, just grabbing the apron um, there's two ways to do this. You could just do it like this and then make kind of like how I did the pit lane, just like rotate it around the track. But if you want it to be right next to the 
pit of the apron. Select every single apron. This might be a pain because they're all like very close together. All right. So once you selected, go to F3X, press clone, and then with the resize tool, you can just bring them all back. Now this is the reason why I use F3X because um, ro normal Roblox the sizing tool doesn't really do much, and then you can just make it so it does. There's no bumps. Oh yeah, and also remember to have your pit lane at least decently wide. I forgot to do that. Um, have it at least wide, at like th two, three wide around there. That's a good enough pit lane. You can make it wider if you want. Um, but make it wide so you can at least fit two cars in the pit lane and then one car extra for the pit box. Um, next up, uh, you can make the finish line. Uh, pretty simple. Just either grab it from the toolbox or just make your own. Uh, go to properties, put this to non collide, shrink this down to like a very thin point, and then just make the line perfect and there's your racing line you can also make the restart zone like just a few uh, feet away like that and then um, that's basically it uh, you can also make the pit wall and everything with the uh, uh, way I tried to uh, put the infield walls you can add the infield and everything but this is basically a uh, basic way on how to make decent racetracks um so yeah um you could i don't know if this is the best illustration but um this is just how i do it and uh, yeah uh, i'd say this is a pretty decent track so um, yeah that's basically it and um i hope this helped you a slight bit i know probably the big transitions might have helped you out a little bit but yeah that's basically it and uh yeah i'll see you later